Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you what I did to start this uh, little painting that I'm working on. First of all, I put on the mask because I'm in the house and uh, I'm using a little bit of spray paint. So I wanted to show you that first. So put on this mask and then what I did was on this piece of wood that I have on my little spin table here. I did not use a spin table yet. I'll be showing that up next. But I had put the wood on there, this piece of wood. And I went ahead and uh, put, um, where did it go? Um, it's a spray can. Oh, there it is. Let me grab it really quick like a bunny. This right here. It's a um, Krylon Glitter Blast. So I sprayed that on here. And while it was wet, because this comes out wet, I also put a little bit of this uh, gold glitter on there that I got at Walmart. It's like $3.00. And then some green glitter I sprinkled on a little bit. You can see on this side over here more right there. And I actually got this uh, glitter here from Amazon. And uh, it's called an emerald green glitter. And then I topped it off with a little bit of this polyurethane uh, triple thick just to give it a quick couple quick spurts just to get that uh, the green and the gold sparkles to stay on there. I couldn't paint this just yet. I wanted to wait to make sure that my son came home from, because of the storm, the flat tire. I was kind of worried. I couldn't relax enough to paint. But now I'm ready, y'all. Green and gold. And then the other green that I have, I have like three different colors of green. So I have the, like an emerald green and a dark green and then like a metallic green. And then I have a brown, chocolate brown metallic and then a gold. And then for contrast, I have a little bit of black set aside just because because I don't know if I wanted any black in there or not, but I have some sitting over here. All right, let me see here what I want to do with this. And I wasn't sure if I was even going to spin. It's not like it's I want spin art or whatever because it's not a flat surface. I've never actually put anything 3D on this, uh, on this thing here. So spinning something like have spin art on something that's 3d like this and an odd shape too because like at first i was going to set it up like that and uh have a go around but i don't know i just didn't want it like that so i don't know why but for something's telling me that i think it'd be best to lay down and you know i'm gonna be honest with everybody i'm not expecting it to be wow look at that that's so cool a <laughs> kind of painting not gonna be that pretty or perfect or whatever. It's just for me. It's just for my yard. And I thought it would be fun to just experiment and try something different on a spin thing with this. And uh, I just love the way the natural wood is. That's why I don't want to cover it all up. But all right, you know what? Let's just get to painting, y'all. Let me spin this for a second and see. Yeah, it looks like it's going to do good. Okay, I think I'm going to start off with the, um, I think I'll actually start off with a little bit of gold. And then from there, I'll start the greens and then just splash the brown or black in as I see fit. All right, everybody, let's get started. Hope for the best. <laughs> I've never done this before, actually. Okay, I hope it turns out. kind of cool I don't know if I want to add too much more paint oh wow that's actually looking kind of cool you guys I'm gonna spin it just a little bit more <laughs> if I put too much more paint on it you guys what do you think I mean if I do it's gonna cover up all the wood stuff but all right maybe I'll put a little sparkles on here now too because I do want a little bit to shine on top so I'm gonna take this glitter right here that I got 
and just I don't want to overload it because it is really popping through the back. Let's see, just a little bit. And then I got this green. I got that on Amazon, the emerald. Actually, what it says here looks like it's for like uh, body, nails, skin, and hair. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get my fingers in there, everybody, and see. that emerald green and I can see now that I want and starting to slide off here too I can see that I want a little more of the um, emerald green on there because I love that color and I'll do a little bit more black and brown too but not too much because I am worried about covering all that up let's see let's get the brown on there a little more looking really cool. Let me go slow here so you can see all angles. This is the bottom that would sit up on top of that. This is cool. I just love that one little splash of black there. It's because I was pouring it right here when it was spinning. This actually looked like the very top so I'm glad that I didn't actually pour everything on the very top because that's where I want to do a little design of something. That's really cool. I love it. I've never done anything like this. And I, I'm i wanting to say I really like it. Like I said, I'm, I know you guys aren't really wowed by it or anything, but I kind of am. I guess I'm partial, you know, because it's mine. I did this, and I did a, I had a really good plan and uh, for the color mixture, and I think it turned out really good. And this is just so cool right here. And like I said, I don't need to put it. Oh, wow, look at that. The, I'll have to bring it down here. You guys got to see that green sparkle right there on top of that uh, that uh, metallic green. The blue green is actually the uh, emerald green. So I'm surprised that that emerald green is more of a blue green. But it's just the, just the right amount of it. It's This is really pretty. All right, let me bring you down here. I want you guys to see this up close. And I don't need to take a torch to it, like I said, because I'm not, I'm not wanting to create cells or anything like that. And I don't need to uh, even pop any bubbles because I want it to be as organic looking as possible. So if, the bu there are white, if there are bubbles on here, they can pop. And if they, when bubbles pop like that and they leave a little bit of mark, that's okay. All right, let's get up here and look at this. This video is getting to be 10 minutes already, so I hate that. So let me see what I can do here. Okay, let's see. You guys, this is so pretty. So, so pretty. Where's that sparkle? Here's some sparkle thing I wanted to show you right there. Look at that. See if I can get it still. It doesn't look all that like through this camera, but it is really sparkling and shiny. This is going to look really cool in the garden. Let me get it around here. This is the side. And of course, when it's sitting up like that, whatever, it's going to look kind of cool. When it dries, I'll uh, show you guys. All right, everybody. Here's the finished dried piece. It almost looks camouflagey. I could add a brighter color for a pop of color in the yard. But, uh, and I thought about this. Too. Let's take a look around here. I like it. It's just what I need in a certain spot I'm thinking about outside. You guys tell me what you think. Should I uh, leave it like that? Or should I put something like this on here, like paint it and put some fireflies in there or something and then just put it right there like that? <laughs> Or leave it. Fireflies, no fireflies. Fireflies, no fireflies. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci.